Oh, welcome all my monsters and ghouls of the internet. Messed up my own line. I don't care. <laughs> welcome, everybody. I this was posted yesterday. I thought I could quickly react to it because it's Interview with the Vampire. I love Interview with the Vampire. And so this everybody who visits my channel loves Interview with the Vampire. So, hey, why not review it? Um, so yeah, it's announced that the season two is officially coming in May. I think May twelfth, if I remember correctly. Am I pulling that number on my ass? I must have pulled that number on my ass. <laughs> I'm tired. I haven't slept in. I think I only, I think I have only got like about what four, five hours of sleep in the past two days. I am not in a good healthy state right now. <laughs> I am running on fumes. But yeah, hopefully this is something new, interesting. We get some new footage in here. Don't know what's in here. Hopefully it's cool. Let's check it out, shall we? Let me turn it down real quick. Alright. Oh. Pff. Who are you, Louis? I'm your brother. Who are you outside of me? Ooh. Okay. If there was no me, uh -huh. and there was no him. <laughs> Who would you be? No oh, fuck. Oh, what's that? So getting more or less stacked? What happened next? <laughs> yeah, May 12th. I was right. Yeah, that was a really Who quick you, short. Louis? I'm your brother. Who are you? It's okay, we're still going with the whole thing of being a brother. So there's I don't know, because they, they did that weird dynamic in season one where uh, Louis um, kind of needed her to re kind of replace Grace in his life. But also, he also kind of lo still loves her as a daughter, which is also kind of fitting to the um, book. Because in the book, they had a weird father daughter, but also lover relationship. Which they changed in the show because I don't know because the you know, the people think it's weird in the book, which it which is weird in the book, but in the book it's different because and it's hard to explain without going into full detail because Anne Rice does such a great job making her vampires feel like new creatures. Her vampires don't really feel like they're human anymore. So it doesn't, it doesn't feel, it feels, fuck. <laughs> I found, I found, that sounds weird, don't I? You gotta read a book. You gotta read a book. Side of me. But yeah, this is. If there was no me, and there was no him. No him. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is a dream sequence. Louis imagining where Lestat is. Seeing that Lestat is wearing the same clothes. Who would you be? So I'm guessing this is like a weird. Let's go back over here real quick. Okay, now a little celebration for Claudia. I'm guessing. So yeah, from what I'm guessing, from what I saw in the first trailer. But Claudia is really joining the theater group. She is embracing the lifestyle of the troupe. Which is very different from the book. Because in the book, they not they didn't really join them. Like they weren't um, antagonistic with the theater. But they weren't really on friendly terms. Except for Louis and Armand. So this is an interesting change. Where's that weird little flash right there? Go back. Oh, what's this? So, Louis is fighting somebody. I see a little bit of blonde hair. Maybe Lestat. Armand looking sad, remorseful. Maybe this is the part where he um, allows a certain character to die. 
I'm not gonna say who in case you are don't know what happens in the book or haven't watched the old movie. Okay, so, yeah, so that was Lestat. Let's go back. So, is this a dream sequence? So Lestat, well, Lestat is wearing different clothes right here. He's not in the same uh, costume getup. In the, um, we're not wearing the same costume getup that he was in the, um, Finale season one. So maybe he is in Paris right now because he does come back to Paris in the book. So maybe this is him joining Louis there. Maybe this is another dream sequence. You got Santiago being wicked and freaking jacked. Oh, hell. <laughs> He doesn't have the black hair though, which I think he had like, um, jet black hair in the book. I can't fully remember. I'm re-listening to the audio book for, for interview. Haven't gotten that far in yet. All right, what's this shot right here? I can't really make up the detail, but it looks like. Maybe the theater, or maybe some just something new. All right, so this thing, this I'm guessing is that what I mentioned in the first trailer for season one is those rogue, um, reverent zombie vampires that Anne Rice described in the first book. It's in the first book. When Louis and Claudia first get to Europe, uh, they have a run-in with a, a vampire who's not quite like them. He doesn't speak. He doesn't talk. He grumbles and moans. They kill him by bashing his head in and letting the sun kind of like destroy, his at, destroy him. He's more like a, like a zombie, a referent. And we're never really told in later books why he's like this. Unless it's explained in the later books that I haven't read yet. Because like I said, I only have read up to the Vampire Armand. I'm currently reading the Mayfair, which is the Mayfair which is right now. I'm on book two last year. So and I always kinda assume that that Reverend Vampire was something Louis made up because it is canon that Louis did make up a lot of stuff in that original book. So maybe they're they're including that in here. They're gonna give an explanation of what makes a vampire into that zombie like creature. Or maybe that vampire is just weird. It's stupid. <laughs> it wants to be like that. Oh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Uh, go back real quick. So, a vampire is holding fire in his hands. Uh, okay, we'll talk about that in one second. We'll talk about that in one second. Alright, so we have the more World War II things. And we have what looks to be, I think that's Armand. The Armand, I think it looks like Armand. Come on, come on. Where am I? I feel, I feel like I'm going to move myself real quick. Yeah, that looks like Armand. But... <coughs> Sorry. Um... Okay, so... There is a part, I won't go full spoilers right here, but there is a part in the second book where a character is dropped off a tower, and it seems like that's what they kind of did that in the first season, but it kind of looks like they're doing it here, maybe it's just another reference to that, I have no idea. 
Wait, does, does the armor get dropped off a tower? Freak, I can't remember. Maybe it's a different character, just looks like Armand. Alright, so... This is probably the trial of Claudia. Because I can... There's no other reason I can think why, why Louis is being held back. And looking so... In pain and beaten up. What happened? What happened? Now go back and let's see it. Ah, come on. We're gonna get. All right. So yeah, more of the dream sequence. Um, Lestat. I mean, Louis dreaming about Lestat. So I'm guessing this is gonna be very early in the season, probably in episode one. Maybe it'll spread out through certain episodes. Maybe this is why um, Claudia is asking him that question in the opening. Who are you without him? Because he keeps thinking about Lestat. His Lestat. My Lestat. What happened next? Now this shot though. Let's go back. Yeah, look look at this though. Look at Louis. Uh, it's not even looking at Daniel. Just looking. I don't know what's that. What's that face? Sad, ashamed. Well, our mind is just aloof, confident. Maybe wants to rip Daniel's throat open. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, more see if him as actually. Armand did not, um, Rashid. I am still, I'm loving more of him uh, as Armand. Still wish we had the red hair. <laughs> I just miss, I wish you got the red hair, uh, from the book. I miss that iconic look. I don't know. Give him a red jacket. I know, because Antonio Banderas, he had that red cape in that one scene in the movie. Um, uh, give this boy, give this guy, a. Uh, a red leather jacket, at least one scene or two. <laughs> That'd be cool. Let's go back to the beginning real quick. Who are you, Louis? I'm your brother. Who are you outside of me? If there was no me. So I am. Okay, I'm forgetting the actress's name right now. Because I am. No him. Very bad with names. Who would you be? But I, from, once again, for the little, very little bit we're getting of her, I am liking her as Claudia. It's still kind of hard to compare her to, um, the for the actress from the first season, just because she had such amazing chemistry with, um, the stat and Nui, so. I, Hopefully, hopefully they capture similar energy. Hopefully, hopefully, I the the first season was just so amazingly cast. I doubt they wouldn't. I doubt they wouldn't have cast her if she couldn't match that energy to some degree. But yeah, this is the new look preview. Who are you, Louis? My Louis, Louis. <laughs> season comes out on May 12th. I'm super excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> but yeah, interview with the vampires coming back. Uh, are you excited? What do you think about this trailer? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you most excited for in this trailer? Or <laughs> what are you most excited to see in the new season? What changes of to the source material are you most excited for or mo most dreading? Freak! Okay, I actually just forgot. Okay, let's go back real quick. Because there's that one shot I forgot to talk about. It's... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was the fire thing. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. It's right here. Okay, here it is. Okay, so, yeah, this right here, I don't like. I really don't like this. So, you're going to see this 
in my Mayfair Witches um, video whenever I have a chance to freaking edit that video and get it out to you guys. But they do this similar to the Mayfair Witches where uh, one of the characters can conjure fire and she holds it. Which is not how magic works in Anna Rice's universe. Now, vampires are a little different in her books, but it's the same thing. The vampires who can control fire and make fire in the books, they don't really hold fire. Fire is still deadly to them. It is still very destructive to their bodies. Even to the vampires who are basically like living marble, fire is still very um, painful to them. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, of course I get all... I guess I'll irritated when I decide to make a video. But yeah, like maybe the fire is just around his hand, but still the heat would be so intense. I don't know. Just these those weird little lore changes that I don't fully like and appreciate. But I wish they were a little more book accurate too. Like the whole thing with the sun. Like I, the book they can't be awake during the sun. I think that was more unique, more effective of them being more isolated. Also, it is very important to two characters. Those who must be kept, which we will not talk about. But yeah, this is one thing I really do not like right here. They might do something cool with it. I'm, I want to be... I want to be swayed. I want to be swayed. That's all I'm going to say. I want to be swayed. But yeah. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I want to know. The Europeans post them. So I can read them. And I will see you. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. <laughs> I am rambling. Alright. Bye. I gotta go. More videos to report. Bye bye. See cups. Beat them up. Beat them up. Beat them up. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, you're, you're still here? You're actually still here at, at the end of the video? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Th thank you, thank you for, thank you for staying for the whole thing. I if you have a few more seconds of your time, if I could, can you scroll down to that description, hit that little button that takes you over to my Twitch? I stream there almost every day. We play horror games, action games, and official novels. So, if you, if you don't mind, if you like what I do it here, if you can stand my annoying voice here, follow me on Twitch and we can hang out some more. Alright, hope to see you over there. Have a good day.